Hello, I'm Jeff Kelly with SUU Aviation. Today I want to talk to you about our turbine fuel system trainer, which is right behind me. And so let's get started. So a turbine engine is another type of engine used in aviation primarily. Uh, you have piston engines, or also we're called reciprocating engines. But then if you want to get more power and more thrust out of a particular uh, uh, engine set, you would use a turbine engine. Um, and that allows for air, more airflow to come into uh, what you call a, a compressor. And then uh, there's a combustion stage after that. And then a turbine section and then out to the exhaust. Um, that max uh, uh, pressure that's being funneled into a certain area and then lit um, through an ignition source um, allows you to have an increased amount of thrust out the back end of a, of a turbine engine. Uh, much more complexity to that, but uh, generally speaking, uh, turbine engines have a lot more thrust and power. Our turbine fuel system trainer has gauges that, that measure your output and input of fuel, your pressures, your uh, uh, quantity, and allow you to to simulate what you would see in an aircraft, whether on the ground or whether uh, in the air. So up here at the top left, you have the fuel flow. Fuel flow is how much is actually going into the combustion chamber down below. Our fuel pressure, which tells you how much pressure our boost pumps are pushing through the system. Our main fuel quantity, which is from your main fuel tank. And then your wing tank fuel quantity, which will show the quantity of the, the wing tanks. Coming off to the right here, you have your fuel quantity signal conditioner, which conditions the signal uh, to allow to be used by the, by the gauges themselves off of the indicator or off of the uh, capacitor and the resistors. Well, these red parts here are called terminal leads. They're pretty common uh, termination ends on uh, any electrical harness or electrical wire. Uh, which actually this this tester is not only for the operations so you can show uh, students the operation of a turbine fuel system but you can actually troubleshoot it as if it is a, a turbine fuel system on an aircraft and it will be similarly matched to how you would troubleshoot an aircraft as well so all of these terminal leads are numbered and lettered and they correspond with a with a fault uh, with the fault isolation manual or a wiring diagram and in that you're able to uh, to chase down wires and and see if something's broken uh, this tester also allows the instructor to switch into a fault there's a fault box on the back and you're able to switch a fault on without the students knowing and they got to figure out why your fuel flow is not flowing or your fuel pressure is not pressurizing yet it seems to be working just fine yet it's not showing on the gauge and so that's where you have uh, you have a schematic that comes with the, the tester or the trainer and then you can use a multimeter and chase down a broken an open or a, or a, a shorted wire coming over to your right hand side here you have your main fuel tank right here you have your wing tank measured in capacitance to your fuel quantity conditioner. This uses a, a giant capacitor and the dielectric, the dielectric of a capacitor is how much energy can be stored. The dielectric of this capacitor is actually the fuel itself. So as the fuel drops below, uh, the capacitance changes. Moving on down here is your fuel boost pump and pressure relief valve. Your fuel boost pump gives you enough pressure to push into your combustion chamber or your engine. In this case, we're talking turbine. So you're gonna be pushing fuel and fuel pressure measured up by your fuel pressure gauge into your combustion chamber. You have a firewall shutoff valve. Firewall shutoff valves are for uh, uh, multiple purposes. Uh, one is safety and, and the other is uh, a check valve of sorts. Your fuel strainer is typically your uh, your lowest point in the in the fuel system and the reason why you want it to be the lowest point is so that you can actually test your fuel with a test a fuel tester uh, these are found um, all over the aviation world and so you can actually
test your fuel by bringing some out and seeing if there's any contaminants in it. You can do this right on the field, right on the airfield, and you would look for any sedimentary contaminants or water in the fuel. And so that's usually the lowest point in the fuel system. And then you have your turbine engine combustion area. This is simulated, so it's not actually a combustion chamber to a turbine engine, obviously, but it will show what, uh, what the fuel boost pump provides to a combustion area through the use of your fuel control unit or throttle. In operation, our fuel system, when it's, when it's running, I can turn on the boost pump and the transfer pump. The transfer pump will allow for the wing tank to flow into the, into the main fuel tank, but I already have it at, at max capacity right now. It'll automatically transfer on its own when this drops below a certain point to keep the main fuel tank filled. The boost pump, like I said earlier, allows you to have fuel pressure to your combustion chamber so that you can push fuel into the turbine engine. So now that I've turned that on and the inverter, I have my firewall shutoff valve open. And down here, you'll see the fuel flowing to the engine. And my pressure rose as well. So now my fuel flow to the engine is flowing. My fuel pressure stabilized. My fuel quantity should be dropping for my main fuel tank. And since this is the feed tank, it is feeding from this tank to fill the engine or fulfill the needs of the uh, combustion of the engine. And eventually, once this drops below a certain level, your wing tanks are going to fill back up and fill this main fuel tank. So it already has an auto fill or auto refill level. And as soon as it gets surpasses that point, it will fill up. And there we go. So there's your automatic refill transfer. And that's via your transfer pump. My wing fuel was lowering down still very slowly is it coming down and now my main fuel quantity is up where it needs to be and once again the process will repeat and this happens in flight more often than you know you often do not hear or see these things take place and that is how the fuel turbine system works on typically about every aircraft in a simplistic form that's it for this video if you liked it please share subscribe and comment and as always, never quit, never give up, and fly it to the end.